Hello, hi everyone. In this video, I'd like to show you how to create an incident from service portal. Basically, the service portal is used for the end user. You do not actually, as a service now admin, you're not going to use the service portal. So this this tool is for the end user where they can come and seek for help. As you can see here in the service catalog, we have can we help you? So they can come here. Uh, pa request for a password reset, password change, or any other, any type of request. In our case, we are going to create an incident, but the incident that we are going to create is going to be very simple. So what I'm going to do after is to use a template, and I'm going to show you how to use a template in order to create the incident and the form the the incident record will have all the information available, and this one is going to be important if you have some kind of critical request let's say you have some problem which is coming again 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 so you would like to have it some sort of category here under service catalog for example urgency or any other type of uh, category under that category the user can come immediately and submit the request because that problem is coming very often so and uh, if that problem is coming very often which means most of the information in your record in your incident record is pretty much the same perhaps the description of the problem is different the error message or something like this is different but the assignment group the person who's going to work on the category, the subcategory, this kind of information going to be exactly the same, for example. So let's create one incident. I'd like to show you how it looks like. And then, and I, in the end, I will, I will be using a template. So we're going to, we are going to use the same thing, create another, such a, what we call a card. And that card is, uh, that um, like card, also we call it record producer. And it's going to create uh, an incident record with all the information available so this one just for an example to show you so I choose urgency high and I'm going to put test I'm going to put submit okay so at this point we have created our incident from the service portal this is how the user can create very quickly and you have the state new the priority is moderate so if I go back I click on my open so I've created one before I'm going to delete that so it was just for the training okay Oop. I want that. Oop. let me delete that I want to great so I'm going here the one I created as you can see here subcategory we have nothing configuration item we have nothing assignment group empty and so on so what if you want everything here in this case we can use a template and we can use it in different manner so the first thing what we have to do is I want to organize a little bit this uh, request so I would like to create under a specific category which is going to be critical request not can we help you it is going to be another one how to have a category like hardware, office, peripherals, or software? I want to have a critical request category. So, in order to do that, you go to service catalog, you click on my category, all. So, we have all the categories, and I click on new. I'm going to give the name, which is critical request and it's going to be under service catalog right so we have service catalog under this we want that so the rest we don't actually need to know so at this point we have created our category but we won't be able to see it if I refresh you won't be able to see it we have to create this record producers and then say this record producer it goes under a certain category at that point you're gonna see the critical request so that's what we are going to do right now so in order to create the record producers 
you have to go to service catalog and look for a card producer. I have it, have it in my favorite, so it's going to be faster. I click on the card producer. So the card producer I want to create is for the Outlook issue. So if you have watched the previous videos, I have one video about how to create a template, uh, which is going to automatically populate information in the internal record. So I'm going to use that template uh, in that record producer but first let's create the record producer but the name is going to be pretty much similar so it's going to be outlook issue outlook issue so the table where we are working on is the incident table okay great so what it will, it will contain so what i mean by that so short description so i have to show you one of them so this is one of the record producer and we can as, as well call it like it's a card and we have create incident this is the title the title that we have here and we have create an incident record to report and request assistance with an issue you are having this is the text that we have as a short description so i'm going to give here a specific a short description which goes to our problem so it's going to be redundant uh, outlook oh my God. issue okay another thing that i want to do as you can see here there are some media images so you have hello i'm new here some of the images so I'm going I'm going to put as well an image that I selected uh, which is going to say there is a problem in Outlook so this one okay so I have my image I have my short description and the other thing is to give the root um, the accessibility where we can find it so in order to do that so we have our create incident under service catalog and then can we help so I want the same thing uh, for the one I'm creating so it's going to be under service catalog but it's not going to be under can we help you it's going to be under critical so this one critical request this is the category that we have created okay so I'm going to update that great so let's see if that thing is let's see if we have critical request here and we have a record producer so i'm going to refresh so we have critical request great and outlook issue our uh, title with the image with the short description redundant redundant outlook issue if i click on that i have only the image i don't have any other information but if I go back a little bit and I show you create incident, as you can see, we have few information like few fields that we can complete. These are called variables. These are linked to the table that we are working on, to the incident table. Uh, so I would like to know for my, uh, how to say, for my Outlook issue, I would like to know who is the user is calling. And I would like to as well have a brief explanation of the issue. And so we can have all this information in our ticket level. Okay, so how we can do that? So it's very simple. You go back to your record producer, look for Outlook issue that we have created, click on Outlook issue. And you have one thing which is called variables. And click on new, we have to create a new variable. So it's taking a little bit of time. So at this point, as I mentioned just before, the fields that we can see here, that will be appear here, those are linked to the table, incident table. So we have to map it. So map to field. So I'm gonna to map to the field, which field I want. So you can map to any field that you want, but we have already our template though. So I'm not going to use so many fields. So I'm gonna use just only two fields in my templates I don't have the color name I don't have the shot the description I do have the shot description but I don't have the shot the description 
So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put the description. So I'm going to look for description. So here, and it's going to be multi-line text. What I mean multi-line text is just a big paragraph. Let me show you one multi-line text. So I'll go back here. I think this one has a multi-line text. This is a multi-line text field. So that's what we have chosen here. And we have to give here, uh, it's called question. Basically, it's, it's like the title which comes about the field. So I'm going to put, please uh, describe your outlook. outlook issue okay so that's a title which comes above the field okay i'm gonna submit this and uh, i'm going to create another one i want to know who is the person calling okay who is the person calling who is the person is calling is I have to go back here and choose caller and the question it's not really a question is a title username and is going to be a reference field okay so why reference field because we we want to have the list of the user that we can select so it's going to be a table which contains a list of the user. So we have to choose, we have to refer to a table. So I, I go to type specification for that and then choose the table that I want. It's going to be user table. So I type user and you have to be a little bit patient. Patient, so you have to be, so you have to look a little bit far. So we have it here, sys underscore user. That's the one we are looking for. Great. So now, perfect. We have our username. We have our, please describe your outlook issue, like these fields and under these fields, we're going to have, so uh, how to say, we can select the user. We can, we can put, um, we can describe our problem. Let's look how it looks like in our service portal. So I go back to critical request. I click here. As you can see here, I can submit, I can choose anyone I want and I can type my problem. Okay. And then submit is going to create a ticket. But at this point, we haven't mentioned that we have to use a template, right? What we want is to use a template. At this point, we, we just say we want a certain user who is going to submit a request is going to select the user, their, their name and and they are going to enter their problem. What is the problem? What is going on? And they can as well attach uh, the, I don't know, the image, a picture, anything that they want to see, like they describe the problem, which describe the problem. So now what we, I would like to show as well another thing. So you can put the this field above and the user main, username below. So the way we do it, it's very simple. We have what we call the order. So if you go here and if you put 101 and this one, one zero, sorry, one zero is 100. So this one will come on the top. So the description will come on the top and the username will come below. So let's see if that thing works. So I'm going to update and refresh. So as you can see here, the problem and then the username. So this is like how you can order if you have multiple fields and you can organize very well. So now what we are going to do is to say, I'm going to use a template. So I go back to my recall producer, Outlook issue, and then you have generated recall data. I click on that and you have actually uh, a field reference field is called template which is going to refer all the template available for me so 
I click on that, I have incident call type, major incident, outlook issue, reset password. So what I want to use is the outlook issue, that the one I created. So I click on, I choose that, and I update. So at this point, our recall producer is perfect. If at this, now, I choose a certain person, for example, let's say Ashley and then I'm going to put uh, how say please describe your outlook issue I have an error message um, in my outlook application please find attached the main the screenshot of the error message let's say this is the description much more detail so I'm going to attach one image that I downloaded so this is the error message that I have so I'm going to submit it right now great so at this point it's created a ticket it's in progress it's critical and I have a description I have also an attachment and this ticket is created and all the information in our incidents it's already populated so before even to showing to you how the incident will look like i would like to show you the template so um so i'm looking for incident so this is the template that i used So let's wait a bit. So I should have category software, email, outlook, self-service, the status should be new, the impact and urgency should be high, help desk, and it should be assigned to me. So these are the information should be should have in our uh, uh, incident that we have created. So I go back here, my incident number is ending with 106. So I go to incident open, I have it here. I have an issue with my Outlook application. That's a short description. And this is the description that we have entered in Service Portal. And all the information is already available here, assigned to is to me. So this is kind of useful when it comes, you have um, recurrent problem, recurrent issues like um, and then you can assign to a certain group and to a certain person and as you can see the user uh, doesn't spend so much time on creating the request it was only two fields to complete just their name and giving their uh, their problem and attaching the the how to say the screenshot if they don't want to have if they don't want to attach it's up to them but there is no problem with that they can even send the request without attaching by putting any attachment so that's how we can create an incident record using a template with the record producer in service portal thank you for watching hope you like it until next time bye